Is this thing on? Okay, there we go. Is this thing working now? Good. So today's plan right now is to do a little tutorial on how I do my slide work for Press Your Look Expert Edition. Okay, my guys should be up there now. So how's everyone doing today? Also, as far as my my second attempt at a release, I'll be doing it tomorrow at some point, so I can check on some things. But I'm kind of thinking if I want to do this with a force chat or not. How long do you think I should wait for people to join in first? And if I'm not lagging, that should be good. Also, I am asking around if people were interested in helping me with this ping tuber thing. Making some art for it, maybe. Since I don't want to always use this official look, because who knows what might happen. Going ahead and store on my desktop for now while we wait. Then again, I probably shouldn't yet.
I will say, though, that I am thankful for all the followers I do have right now. You know what, let me just start the tutorial now. And hello everyone. If you'd like to be in the voice chat, I'm okay with that. For those who are able to do so. By the way, I will drop links to some of the stuff I use for this tutorial so you can have the same stuff I do when it comes to the Breast Deluxe slides being made. But let's begin. First, you need something like Paint.net or Photoshop. I would prefer Paint.net if you're a conscious if you're budget conscious like I am, since you really don't need to p pay for it unless you get it the via the window store on your computer. Let me open up my graphics and my press your luck stuff. And I'll be right back with the ping tube so I can join another voice chat. Hopefully no after hours mess is being shown on the screen. Alright, I was going to say that I'm about to start the tutorial my anyway. But first, let me point out to the color scheme I usually use, the color, the palette I usually use for this stuff. Maybe except for sake of chance, but if you want to use a color not shown here, that's fine with me because it's your project and your slide, I'm not going to be the one telling you you have to use a certain color. Let me open some stuff here on, no, on this paint.net window. First we have the First, I'll open one of the Photoshop files that I was given uh, back in 2017 or so to show you what each one has. As you can see here, for this color one, we have two layers, the, the background color itself and the coins. And if you want to do a directional space, I have that cover too. With all the different arrows for the for the game for the 
stuff. Let me disable layers here, just to show what I mean. But here each layer shows a diff shows another part of an arrow or for up and down and left and right. Yeah. Good to know. And also, I'm going to say, ask this on air. If we ever get to talk to Dan Glitzner and do games with him, would it be okay if I host and record? And if I do end up doing so, I will pre-record and edit out anything that might happen that might happen that would need to be censored for business reasons. He's, he's, I know he's busy. Right. And I understand that. Now let me open up this notepad document about fonts here. Since I can't remember everything off the top of my head. But as far as fonts you'll need, I hope no one caught that. That's for tomorrow, but for the money, for the regular cast slides, your dollar sign should be Franklin Gothic Extra Cadenced BT size 13 font. The numbers themselves, same font size 22. If you're doing an Anna spin space, the plus sign would be Arial size 14 and, and the one spin text being Times New Roman size 9. Same goes with the Times New Roman thing for prize icons you might be working on. And I realize I don't have my mic on, don't have my audio on for the Discord call. So, good thing they didn't hear your response to the Dan Glitzner thing. The, I'm still working on it. I think if they had heard me, it's basically just common knowledge. Right. Yeah, like, I got it now. Like, Smash asked me a question about Dan Klitzner, who is a creator of Bop It, and gave us permission to work on re a remake of one of his games. Um, because Dan Klitzner is also somewhat involved in Press Your Luck Whamageddon, because we came to him first about that, see if he knew if that would be legal. He said it most likely is, as long as we do what we've been doing and not use any monetization and denounce the rights, saying that even though it's not permitted, we could still do something. Yeah. And I was, and also, I'm going to say, it would be an honor to meet him, if ever possible. Well, remember, he's busy working on, he's... Now, he hasn't been talking to us, not even Kane. Like, he usually talks to Kane. He's not talking to Kane, leading us to believe he's working on a new product. Right. He's working on the next Boppet. I understand. Now that, now that that's over with, I'll also say that for slides that call for a loser whammy or a, or a spin again scenario, the font size for the dollar amount including the dollar sign and the numbers themselves, is that Franklin Gothic Asterisk Adense BT size 14, the Orisu B size 7 in Times New Roman, and the Opson text in size 6 Times New Roman. Now, Actually, you know, I do want to show you something, if you'll, if you'll allow me to place something on the bot. Sir, what is it?
What do you have planned? Um, you'll know. Oh. So, th so, this, so this is something that was said on a live stream on TikTok. Okay. Oh, crispy toast is coming. All right. All right. Now I'm let me get the just, um, font ready. Move to a se to the second screen. And there you are. Um. So what is this about anyway? Oh, uh, we're just doing a basic live stream. Just thought. Um. Yeah. And I. I like your dream from last night. I like what you told me about it. That's something we could do, actually. Wait, you know, but don't you think you need to have some coding skills and programming skills to create a game like that? Well, we're start. Well, again, like we're just starting. We're just starting out with this. We've been in like dev hell for three years for one of our games. But yeah, we can. That could be something we could pull off, actually. Uh, do in due time, though. All right. Uh, so I am doing a tutorial on my YouTube stream on how I do my slide work. Yeah, on the live stream I sent you. That's what uh, we're doing right now. So yeah, Smash Crispy had a dream last night that involved a, a quiz show with PNG tubers. Oh boy. A customizable PNG versions. I wonder if, Wait, if me it, asking you about it and gave you the fuel needed to for it to happen in your, in your dreams. It's kind of like modding or something. Anyways. Oh, like what we do with Expert Edition? Yeah, something like that. Oh, fair enough. So, I'll see I'm, that. I'm Sorry. You go first. I was going to say... First, first, then I'll tell you. I'll say that when it, if you're using Paint.net for the text, I suggest to use fixed font size as in fixed 96 DPI as opposed to points image DPI based on the size of the image you're using for the slide itself to, that you're working on. So it will be more like what you're looking for. And you might also want to make sure your font is even bolder via the bolding it, bolding it, bold tool in the text stuff. I see. And unless you want to do it in a go to background, I'd suggest to use white. Oh, by the and way, Crispy, my, my brother joined the Rift recently. He said he wanted to talk to you whenever, if you ever came on the Rift. Um, okay. Not, not today, though. Um, just whenever, really. And another well, thing I should point out, that I forgot to do, make sure each thing of text is its own layer. I see. Go ahead, speak. You can say what you were going to say. Well, I have to get going. I'm, I'm going to have some lunch right now, okay? Oh, yeah. Listen, you know where to find us if you ever want to talk again. We're always around. All right. See you later. See you later. I don't know if anyone's okay, still so in the YouTube. Play something. Okay, I don't know if anyone's in the YouTube chat still, but I'm doing this anyway. As as yeah, there a, are still people in the chat. Yeah, I just haven't seen anyone talk. Okay, so listen to this. Okay. If this has to do with Dan Glitzner. This is... How many people know what this was originally called? I know there's some of the Bop at Rift. There's a Bop at Rift group out there that's pretty cool that pretty much knows more about Bop it than I do. Uh, if you see anyone from Bop at Rift on uh, Discord, they are the Bop it Masters. In fact, Bop it Master 8 is on here who's really literally knows more about Bop it than I do. They are, they are completely obsessed. Um, That. All right, what happened, chat here? You type in the chat. Yeah, it's 
explaining what that was. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Note that I have the text right now a little higher up than, than center. That's so I can use this to show you how to do the Anna's Band spaces. Now, the stuff I was doing yesterday was pretty much just me recoloring someone else's stuff. And sometimes I have to remind myself of, of the font size. But I'm going to go to Arial now for the plus sign. Make sure you leave room for all your text layers in the image itself. And I'm going to go to the Anna's Bin space now. Once I find Times New Roman. I think today I have to get a haircut. And as you see there, there's all the text you'll need for a for your typical slide with Anna's Ben attached to it, but but you may notice that on the so the slides were fidgeted a little or however you say that word. Plus plus you may notice a drop shadow of sorts on the neon scheme and anything based on that. So I'll show you how to do that stuff next. You merge the layers with the text, but not the coin or the actual color backdrop. So you can so you can make a duplicate of that text so to make it a little to invert the color to make it black. Make sure the black's on the underside of the white text. I don't, and I still can't figure out just how the drop saddle was on the actual so, but oh, thanks, Lua. Finjet, I, if I'm doing it right, but here's how the neon era's drop saddle is done on my end, usually. Now, once you're done with that, and you're good with everything on the on the slide itself, let me go ahead and put put in this paint dot this Photoshop file of the border, including a black backdrop for that. Oh. That one I'm okay, meant, meant meant to be an eye. Anyways, let me go to Finye here, and the default would be too dark on the corners where the text wouldn't be able to be shown. Make sure you have a make sure it's only doing like the corners. And this part is completely optional, but if you want to do like a late era theta slide, you go to brightness and contrast and turn up the brightness to simulate the fact that the slide projector has been signing on it for who knows how long. But that would be it for this part. Now you copy, you merge all the layers on the, on your slide itself, and move to the border paint.net file slash Photoshop file. You copy the slide as a new layer, and make sure you center it. 
Unless you want to do like a tilted slide, but that would be another time for another thing. And if you're to use it for paint for a particular expert edition, make sure you save it in a bitmap format, BMP. And if you're doing a non-neon scheme, you don't have to do the drop shadow if if you're doing that. Right. I'm not going to actually save mine because I already have one for this, but then you choose your, your file name and the BMP file format and save. And that will, that's basically it for this little tutorial. I don't know if I yep. if I be too forward in saying this, but I kind of imagine myself being like a pressure luck Bob Ross, to be honest. That's me with Bop it basically. And it, if you know where I'm going, yeah. Speaking of press your luck, I guess I is it okay if we say about what we're doing to one of the mods? Yeah. So, to those of you who are still on the stream, um, one of the mods we in an update, we gave one of the mods an audio update to have the real Whamageddon soundtrack. But unfortunately, that's the one we're not going to be releasing, and that is Whamageddon XL. Let me get to my, what I'm looking for here. First of all, but I'm going to do a prize slide now using one of the ideas from the Whamageddon XL prize packs. Not sure which one I'll do though. But here's what I'll do. I'll look up a kitchen. I'll look for a kitchen clip art thing to use. I would, if you're doing it like a classic slide, I would use black and white more than I would a color one. Of course, it depending on your taste, that's up to you. Yeah, I don't know why, but my throat's kind of bothering me. Take a drink if you can. You know what? While I will take a small break, DGR, you try to entertain the the crowd. Mm hmm Okay, folks. Since I'm here by myself currently, and Smash isn't here, I'll be at, I'll be answering any questions you guys have regarding these slides or any of the following um, things he's going to do or about any of the mods. If any of you have any questions, you can hear me. Uh, please feel free to ask in the chat. Or if you want, if you're a part of Bop at Rift, you can also join the voice but I'd have to transfer you to the um, private call. That is, if anybody's still here. Okay, Jeffrey. Okay, I'm back quickly. 
And let me get this kitchen. Let me go ahead and check my email while I'm doing this. Just to see what we have. Okay, I'm done checking my email, and now let me get get the screen share back on the OBS window. Okay. Trying to find a simple thing here, though, since the pressure looks like fixed for the original ARS prizes were simple in design. Okay. Now, if you use paint.net mixer, your prize image will be in, is in a different file thing than the slide you're working on. And this time I'm going to use the brown color that's that was used for prizes when it comes to press your luck. And one of the slide kit things I'm one of the colors from the slide kit thing, but I'm not going to use the color given by the file. And I'm not going to use the coins either since it's a cat price slide. If it will let me there. Now, when you paste your prize icon to the main slide you're going to work on, make sure you keep the canvas size the same. And scale your prize, scale your art accordingly. And now, make, and again, make sure everything is in its own layer in case you have to move stuff. Oh, yeah, make sure your text is white. And if you need two lines, make sure the text alignment is centered. And as you can see here, this kind of thing is why. You keep things in separate layers, so you can move things up if need be. Now, I'm not going to use the Fignet thing for this one since it's a prize. And it's on the brown color. By it, well, not the Fignet, the drops that on the text. But, as, but the save finie and copy paste stuff does does apply to this when it comes to putting it in the within the border of the slide thing. And if I can't talk right now, it's because I'm trying to do so many things at once. Well, not that many things, but still. Let me make sure I get the right slide graphic here. Mm -hmm. 
let mm -hmm. me see what the price icon was on the Ramigan and XL stuff. Speaking of which, did you send that to Plush? I did. Or, I'm okay. about, or I will when I'm done with the stream. Fair enough. <laughs> but with that, that's pretty much all I have to sew. Though I might want to change the font size here for the text. Now that I think about it. Do like a six or a four? Or a seven, maybe? So I can lower the prize art and the text. And it be more in line with what you see on the show. And I'm going to go ahead and call this a stream when I'm done with this. Because, one, I'm, there's no, you, no need to exp to, ex to extend a tutorial just because you want to. Plus, I'm there might be food in the near in the next minute or so over here where I live, so I'll be eating anyway. Might come back on stream later to do more things. But till next time, thanks for watching this, and please don't put any. Dirty stuff in your slide icons. Please. The Don't last... be like plush in after hours, basically. Yes. Unless you're doing an adult swim first, but still, censor it. Right, this is a game show, not another throwaway like after hours. Yeah. And with that.